Hey there guys today i'm gonna do a little quick tutorial um i've done a tutorial on this before it was marm or it was a uh, substance painter to unreal engine 4. um it did pretty well um there's a lot of people that got a lot of help out of it so let's jump right to it just like i did in the other one uh but this video is going to be actually how to export to unreal engine 5. it's the same workflow um it's just i'm also going to show you how to export to marmoset toolbag it's the same files i don't know about y'all but like back in the day when i used to export i had to like separate everything and like i had like my own like separate files for marmoset and unreal and it was just really annoying um, I figured out a little technique to use the same files from Unreal and Marmoset, so it's pretty nice. So first, we're just going to go ahead and you have your texture model here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to export textures, and we are going to go ahead and select your folder, uh, save it wherever you want, and then go ahead and export. Make sure you have Unreal Engine 4 pack selected, uh, the size you want, etc. So, you know, the normal workflow, you go into Unreal. I have a little folder here I made. I am going to go into this folder, and I'm going to grab those grenades we just made. Let's grab the files here. These are the textures. We're going to drag and drop all those into Unreal 5. They are going to import. You want to open your RMA and you want to turn off sRGB. RMA is roughness metallic occlusion for short. I'm going to turn that off, hit save. Okay. Go ahead, right click, create a material, call it whatever you want. Boom. Open the material. Still not a, not a big fan of Unreal Docking, if I'm being honest with you. We're going to select all these, drag and drop them in here. Okay, let's go ahead and organize them. I like to keep things semi-organized in here. So let's start with the top. Your Diffuse is going to be RGB, two base color. Your RMA, your red is going to be ambient occlusion. Your green is going to be roughness. And your blue is going to be metal. And then your normal is obviously just going to go into your normal like normal. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the model just to throw it on, just to make sure it looks okay. Did I not drag? Okay, here we go. Oh. Um, yep. Import all. Okay, so we then open the model and just grab your new material you grabbed and go ahead and assign it to the material slot on your model and you should have your materials applied properly. As you can see. Okay, so now the Marmoset part for any of you that are interested in knowing how to do that part. So let's go ahead and drag and drop our model into Marmoset so we can see it. We are gonna use the same files, by the way. Okay, so we have the texture right here. So what you wanna do really quick, you just wanna flip the Y on the normal map. You want to go down and add an occlusion. And then here's the little technique I figured out. So on your, your microsurface, which is your roughness, the channel you wanna select is green. And then on your metallic channel, you want to select as blue. And then your occlusion, you want to keep that as red. And we can just go ahead and drag and drop these in the appropriate slots. Like a click. There we go. There we go. And there you go. So you don't have to export two different uh, texture sets. I used to do that all the time, and it was just atrocious. Um, if you care to know the logic here, it's just you're simply telling it what channels. So, you know, in Unreal, if you come back in here and you open the material, you have your RMA, which is your roughness metallic occlusion you have red which is ambient occlusion your green channel which is roughness and then your blue channel which is metallic which is Y. and here you just have to change the channel under these it's a really simple little technique um i came across it doing some digging in a video i'm not exactly sure whose it was if i knew whose it was i would credit them but i had to dig to find it so yeah if this helped um thumbs up you know give it a like subscribe maybe i'm really close to a thousand subscribers It'd be really cool if i could hit a thousand subscribers um but yeah let me know in the comments if this helped thanks guys peace out Thank you.